are all the women in the top jobs Tories? And why do they do such terrible things? Welcome to British Rationals. In a week when... This week, Sajid Javid was named the new Home Secretary after Amber Rudd resigned following the Windrush scandal. Why are all the women in the top jobs Tories? And why do they do such terrible things? Oh, come on, sisters. Too right she resigned. Disgraceful. She wanted to increase deportations by 10%. Where's the ambition? Who's Amber Rudd? The ex-Home Secretary. What's an ex-Home Secretary? She should call a press conference and ceremonially fall on metaphorical sort of lies to the sound of Calypso. Now that would be art. It just goes to show that no one's safe these days. I mean, I'm sure she's got a good social network around her. You know, friends to help you through the tough times. They've not been deported. You don't just lie to the country and walk away unscathed. That's not how modern politics works. You print the lie on a bus and you tour it round the country. Sainsbury's and Asda have confirmed they will not close any stores following their £13 billion merger that will see them become the grocery sector's largest company. So will I be able to use my Nexta card in Asda? Probably not. So why are they bothering then? Good for Jay Sainsbury, I say. I've always shopped there. Really? I'd have thought you were more of a waitress man. No, too pricey. And why too pricey? Because of their nasty little employee-owned communist scheme. What colour are the carry bags going to be? I mean, who's even still using these shops? There's this little independent place, you might have heard of it, it's called Whole Foods. That's where I do my shopping. And you should really go there, if you cared, you would. I tried to merge with another conceptual artist once, as part of a public installation project. But we just both got arrested for indecent exposure, before we could complete the piece. I mean, what's their new slogan going to be? Live well for Asda Price? It's scientifically impossible. ABBA announced this week that they're due to release new material for the first time in 35 years, preceding a tour next year that will see digital representations of themselves called Avatars. Wonderful news. I've always been a fan of that song Waterloo. Hopefully they'll get in the studio and produce some more topical hits. Trafalgar, Agincourt, the Somme. No, 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 no. I voted to leave Eurovision. I've had enough of this. Out means out. Bannock burn. Oh my god, I am ecstatic. Oh, I used to be in an ABBA tribute band. I was Agnetta. I know, I know, I don't look much like her. My Chazney from All Saints is much, much better. Rock's drift. I can dance. I can jive. I'm having the time of my life. Digging the dancing queen. Ooh. The Boyne. Culloden. That song, Voulez Vous. Reminds me of my wedding night. Money, money, money. Reminds me of my divorce. Quebec. All the great campaigns. Helmand. Thank you for the music. Here we go again. Knowing me, Carpet Martin. Knowing that I'm doing an obvious, and quite frankly lazy, Alan Partridge impression. Aha. Join us next Friday for more British Rationals. And follow us everywhere at Brit Rationals.